My name is Tilman and this is my wife Lauren and we've been married for 11 years. We met um, when I was in my first year and Tilman was in his second year mm -hmm. and um, we met at friend's house and um, I think the thing that I saw first when I saw him besides his afro was um, and your parachute pants was your was his hands and that's the thing that attracted to me first about him is his hands and um, you can say now now what attracted you to me and then we actually spent the whole night chatting it was lovely we connected really nicely we sat on the roof we just sat on the roof and chatted for the night until like four o'clock in the morning mm. and um, after that we became very good friends the thing that really attracted me about Lauren um, was that she was a uh, such a bubbly, lively, friendly person. Like it was always just fun to be around her. Um, always just a positive attitude and kind of a space around her. And that, that really um, grabbed me. Is that right? Yeah, thank you. It is true, right? Okay. I invited him to all my dances that year and he never invited me to one. So our first kiss was the kiss that did seal the deal <laughs> at, um, at my varsity dance we invited her, the first one that I invited her to. Um, Took a year. Yes, yes. On that night, details. I can still remember, you can remember what I was wearing, which was not very... It was a very velvety it, blue yes, shirt. And that was almost a deal killer, but um, luckily it wasn't. And. Um, I just decided I wanted to kiss you because you were absolutely beautiful and um, and I think it was like it was romantic atmosphere and I did just want to kiss you because you were beautiful and um, I had to save a bit of uh, save up a bit of money for the wedding ring and um, I you used ate pulchers for six months. I ate pulchers for six and months and two minute noodles. And I depleted my study loan to have, have money for <laughs> for buying the ring. But we got, we got engaged immediately after, um, after my studies. There's a story I'll never, I'll never forget, is, um, which is a really cool story for us. And we know that there are certain people that love the story as well. Um, so when we were going out, we were invited to a couple's evening at um, Sias's house. And um, one of the, we were all divided up into groups and one of the things that we needed to discuss in our groups was how we got together. And so there were about two or three couples with us in our group. And um, so the first couple started and, and they sort of explained how they met, for example, on soul winning and realized they were attracted to each other and loved the fact of the other person and so on. They got together and it was lovely. The second couple met on missions, for example, and they pursued a relationship and eventually got together. And then there was another couple, for example, that um, they met each other, they were attracted to each other, but they weren't sure if it was the right step for them. So they, they prayed a lot about it and waited on the Lord for an answer whether they should go out and they fasted about it and all sorts of things like that, which was amazing as well. And obviously they got together because they were at the couple's evening. And, um, and then it came to us. And our story wasn't quite the same. We felt a little bit out of, out of place, place uh, to say the least. So ours was like we met on a roof of a friend's house and we went to a dance and we prayed and we went out. And been happy ever after. And that's the end of the story. So anyway, it was great though, but I wouldn't change it for the world. No. <laughs>